Okay, so I'm going to show man in the middle in action here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to a file sharing service like Dropbox from a corporate or an IT provided network and see who the certificate issuer is for Dropbox. Then I'm going to do the same thing for a test client that's in a test network. And it's behind the visibility platform where I do have man in the middle enabled. To dig more into it, so I'm going to do a UI walkthrough where I show how uh, the key pairs, the certificates and the private keys can be generated on the box itself. And also, if an organization has an existing infrastructure that they're using, how we can import that uh, on, the, on the platform itself. To add to the previous discussion, uh, what actions can be taken for self-signed certificates or invalid certificates uh, as well? Uh, there was a question in the live stream. Somebody was saying that when is this product going to be available because it doesn't appear to be on your website now? So the product would be uh, generally available in April. In April? Yes. Mm. But uh, it's, ru it's run through extensive betas, and if anyone's interested, we can absolutely provide a close to generally available copy <laughs> to them. Thank you. Great. So here I've navigated to uh, Dropbox, and I go ahead and take a look at who the certificate issuer is. Um, in the IT network or the corporate network, there is no man in the middle happening. So uh, the certificate issuer in this case is DigiCert, so I'm sure that uh, the connection is encrypted end to end. Then I navigate to my test client, uh, which is uh, behind the, the visibility platform, and, see, and uh, do the same thing. I just open a browser, go to Dropbox, um, and see who the certificate issuer in, is in this case. So here you can see it was issued to Dropbox, but it was issued by Gmo TME Primary, which is kind of set up on the visibility platform or the HC2 in my case. So here I know that there is man in the middle happening uh, in the network, and uh, you know, that's why we see the issuer uh, change from DigiCert to Gmo TME primary. And was that pre-cached in there, or was that generated at that very moment that you just connected to that Dropbox site? Uh, it was, uh, it, so when we, it, it's done per session. So when I connect to uh, Dropbox, mm -hmm. um, I actually imported that, the whole key pair in there, and then it's sent to me dynamically for that particular domain. So it was generated at, on the fly, on, right? So like if, assuming like right now it was generated at that very moment, yes. So yes. that speed of availability of it was real-time exactly. effective. Yes. And it's all, the issue date on there was tagged 4.7, I saw that at the moment. And what's going to happen? Oh, it was 4.7 a couple seconds ago, right? Uh, that's that's, that's question. my question. Yeah, 4.7, a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what's going to happen for the next users that connect to, to Dropbox? Yeah. Same thing. What's going to happen for the next users that connect to Dropbox? Are you so they would keep that same. Keep keep that, that, okay. the same it's already validated that. Yeah. How long do you keep these certificates? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's user configurable. User configurable. Okay. Default? And we can That's get on back their to browser. That. Okay. It showed four. It, that one had four days listed on it. Okay. It was four. I don't know why. I happened yeah, to look yeah. at that. Yeah, it was four seven through four eleven. Okay. I don't know if that's default or not, but. Mm -hmm. But I like that. <laughs> so here I am in the profile itself. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, we can actually generate the certificate on the box itself on the appliance, and it's as easy as going to actions and choosing generate a self-signed uh, CA certificate. In the other case... Oh, can, uh, can you go back to that real sure. quick? Sorry, I, I think that was in there. Yeah. Oh, no, it's key size and hash time. Oh, yeah. valid period right yes. there. So we do have uh, For, various key sizes that, that are enabled, ranging from 1024 all the way up to 4096. So if you're self-signing a certificate, like for a, for a captive portal, for example, on mm -hmm. wireless, which notoriously those are all messed up, you can go in there, I guess, and, and do set a valid period for whatever that is. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. There's cases where you want it to be short, but there's also cases where if you're self-signing things, uh, what's the longest duration? That's the duration oh. I want. Yeah. Well, I only have to do that problem once CA every duration. Yeah, those yeah. are CA certs, the root oh, yeah. certs. Okay. So that's not the end user or the end point cert. So if oh, okay. an organization has an existing infrastructure that they are using, and import that in here. Uh, we support both PEM and uh, PKCS12 formats. Mm -hmm. So jumping back to the UI itself, right? So I talked about various options that we allow when we see a self-signed certificate or 
uh, an invalid certificate. So in this case, it can be set to decrypt or drop. If it's set to decrypt, we send the, the secondary uh, certificate to the end user. So that mm -hmm. way the user knows that they, are, uh, they see a warning and uh, they have to go through that uh, text to understand that this is actually uh, you know, coming from a secondary uh, CA itself. And those are default settings to decrypt because you don't want to necessarily drop traffic, but you want that to be a choice up exactly. to the end user to yeah. make that decision. But be no, but you saw the whitelist, blacklist notification at the bottom, but it, it, tag it and go, hey man, this guy's going to somewhere that has an, an interesting certificate. Although I don't run into a lot of self-signed certificates for my assets that are on the internet. Yeah. So they're usually internal assets right. that we right. absolutely just hate having the self-signed search because, yeah. you know. I'm some just, web server of some sort or some yeah. Yeah, internal service. Or Every Windows server, all oh, those. <laughs> <laughs> so this was kind of the uh, topology that I used uh, for my corporate network. I went to uh, Dropbox. I saw the issue was DigiCert because there was no man in the middle. And then I went to uh, the same file sharing website. Uh, and I see the issue in this case was uh, Gigamon because uh, there is man in the middle happening in the network. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Any other questions on uh, man in the middle? I do like that that was a live demo and not um, you didn't hit play on a. Yeah. <laughs> on a we may come side. back to various man in the middle questions as okay. time goes on. So absolutely. Because this this is the the biggest problem when it comes to handling those things. So new things may pop up. Absolutely. And actually, I want to say that I, I really appreciate you guys like actually being able to discuss that this is you know an authorized man in the middle attack um a lot of companies you, we, we bring that up and say oh yeah you're just performing a, a man in the middle and they're like oh no 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 because you know they, they don't like the the implied negative connotation from someone that doesn't really understand what they're talking about Thank you. versus you know us we all understand this is commonplace and, i use and the term so inline inline ssl inspection and then usually no. the nerds in the room go, oh, you mean man in the middle attack? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we, we don't want to insult like, your intelligence. There's no other way to decamp. There's no other way to do it. <laughs> yeah, right. I agree. People, I agree. people should understand, yeah. though, when, if they're a user on a corporate network, that whatever they do on that corporate network, they have no control over it. Right? On any network. Oh. Right. Yeah. On the hotel yeah, network hotel that we're network. in, yeah. I mean, yeah. on the coffee shop yeah. network, I mean, you're but, using But it's harder on a hotel tubes. network because I don't have to accept this self-signed cert that they just presented to me because I don't know who they are, right? Yeah, but every user other than, you know, nerds, they're all going to go, yeah, whatever, get me to the site, get me to the site. And, yeah. you know, now some kid's ordering up some Amazon stuff. Yeah, they don't mm -hmm. care. Can I ask one, one question? Um, and I know, I, I have a feeling I know part of the answer to this, but how are you getting that traffic in line to, right? So it's gotta go through your appliance, right? Yes. How, how's traffic getting there when it's all over the network? We'll uh, show you a, we'll show you a demo and uh, on, on that very topic, okay. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we have a whole section to cover how we send traffic to inline as well as out of band uh, tools. Okay. So